Here we are at the Yemen, I mean the, um, the pottery factory in Sana'a. We're making filters. We have two people working over, three people actually working over on the uh, clay and sawdust mixing. We have one person who finishes up the uh, filter before it goes onto the shelves for drying. These guys are real potters. They take a lot of special care for it. Right now it takes us about 15 minutes to make a filter. We're aiming to get down to between 10 and 11 minutes. Of course it's a manual press and it takes a little longer to get the filter up there. It takes three or four minutes just to pump it up. So that's the owner on the left of the press. His name is Ali Sal Assad. These, all the workers are members of the family, either brothers or cousins. Now we're getting up to the top and uh, we'll start pulling the excess clay off. I'm going to back away from that right now and go over to the clay and sawdust mixing. We do it by hand because we can't quite find a mortar mixer in Sana'a or anything even remotely like one except by paying uh, an awful lot of money to have one made. We're not in a position to do that yet. So, here we go. Ali is testing whether it's the right time. He's using a Yemeni coin to find the gap between the two molds. Now he's saying it's done. He's happy with it. You can see some of the flash coming out on the top, maybe. This is quite an operation. We're pretty proud of ourselves right now. And it just released. I didn't get my watch out to time it, but that was a pretty quick uh, turnaround on this one. One thing we learned is uh, you have to put the stamp into the filter while it's still on the press. Well, I guess we knew that, but we had to relearn it. Some of the filters, they were stamping it after it came off the press. And uh, we were getting a little bit of a bent rim on the top of the filter, so we learned our lessons well. <laughs> <laughs> right now you see quite a few people around the press and you know we're all still learning and um, we hope to reduce the number of people on the press to two and we're making another press and we'll have two presses going each with two people on it. If anybody's interested or who's ever been here, we built some wooden shelves out of pallets, give ourselves some more storage space, and it actually works pretty well um, storing the wet filters. I mean, a day after they, they dry, they go into the um, pallet shelves, they get a little more air up on through the pallet. It works out very nicely. Mohsin is a new employee here and he's in charge of 
stamping and recording all the uh, serial numbers and making sure we don't make any mistakes. Also, I want to show how these filters come off the press because we were having problems with the steel plates. So we um, got rid of that um, practice. We use two pieces of wood to pull the filter off the press. It's works really well and we're very happy with the resulting product. Well, they, I see they put a piece of plastic on the wood as well. So Ali takes it, Mohsen puts it on top and then Ali just flips it over and returns the ejector plate back to the, kill, or the press and Ali flips it back. It works very well. Here we're hand mixing the clay and the sawdust, adding the water. That's how we do it here. We're making about 60 filters a day. Filters on the right have passed the flow test. Filters on the left uh, are failures. We're going to fire them again. Here's our storage area. We made about 1,200 filters this month. And here's the famous kiln. Hey, Rashti. And we're going to take a look inside the kiln, how we stack the filters. You get a better idea. There's the door, and they're stacked inside. So we can use that as the control solution. They go in as per protocol for 45 seconds, exact time. So we put them in for 45 seconds. And you have to make sure you let the excess colloidal solution drip off of it. And that's how it's done. Then we put them on the racks over here. They dry for a couple days. And then we'll go ahead and... Sorry, then we'll go ahead and put them in the plastic bags. Here the filters are packaged in, uh, in plastic bags, keep them clean and they're ready to go. We have about 235 filters sitting there now. And over here is some of the mix going on, the hand mixing as we've discussed before.